Operators are deploying network AI primarily in areas where they already have a substantial amount of training data or can secure it relatively quickly. A prime example of this is the self-organizing network called SON domain, which has been effectively utilized up until now. Of course, the AI ML models being used are evolving from traditional model to the latest deep learning models. Another key area is the network data analytics, where the models being employed are also evolving from deep learning and even Gen AI models. Currently, the operators are deploying AI in the network for the most part as cost savings. So if I think about the three pillars of opportunity for AI, where there's cost reduction and feature enhancements and creating new revenue streams, for the past 20 years, the operators have been spending time on making the network more resilient, using machine learning uh, for automation purposes to improve the network. However, with contemporary AI, really generative AI, it presents a lot a bigger opportunity. And so I'm gonna just pause for a second and kind of say, um, there's the LLM you might hear, large language model training. I, I, I like to say that's sending uh, a person to primary school, giving a foundational information for the intelligence that we're creating. And then there's the tuning and optimization uh, phase where enterprises or operators can take it and tune it to their specific need. That's kind of like a university uh, student or someone going to a trade school. And then finally getting an application deployed or the person going into the workforce. Now I say this because that it presents an opportunity for operators to say how they get specifically into this LLM and tune it and optimize it for enterprises to come. Today we're seeing a lot of, um, I would say, early use cases for AI in the network. Um, on our uh, Aerial Omniverse Digital Twin platform, what we're now able to do with some early uh, partners is to use their RF propagation and EM solvers to be able to create real scene environments so we can learn and collect data in a digital twin before deploying in the network. But we're also starting to see some early uses of AI in the physical layer, for instance, in the 5G layer. Um, and we're starting to also see network operations data being collected and optimized for energy efficiency and things like that. So early days, but still a um, lot of use cases. A large majority of operators that we've spoken to today are using virtual assistants uh, in their market. So these are in production. This is for customer care and troubleshooting activities. Uh, did have the opportunity recently to talk to the chief data officer at Verizon. Uh, Verizon has, as you can imagine, large amounts of uh, information and data in their network. And so what they're doing is cataloging that data and that data is then being used to help these AI uh, virtual assistants help with customer care and network troubleshooting issues.